Hello, hello, welcome to Shading Y. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a 15 piece uh, thread up rescue box versus a auction bag. So let's see how we do. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. I'm Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple websites. We bring everything to you first, and uh, all you do is send us an email to one shadyny at gmail.com. We um, send you a PayPal invoice. You don't have to have a PayPal account um, in your email to us. If you have a purchase from us before, be sure to give us your mailing address. Um, we do need the name of the video if it isn't the current day's video and um, a timestamp and a description of what you're purchasing. I'm considering going to the number system like Kristen D and a couple other um, resellers. I know Allie does it. Um, uh, so I, I know a lot of people are doing it. So in the comments, let me know what you think. Would that be easier? Also, um, let me think if there's anything in Shipping is $5 in the United States. Under a pound, anything over a pound is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. And um, let's see what this one is. This, as I said, is a 15-piece rescue box from um, Swanee, Georgia. And I purchased this on August 28th. So it's... A recent, it hasn't been sitting here percolating that long, but hopefully there's something good in there. This is sterling. We know that's good. So I'm going to put the um, auction bag over to the side and let's go with the 15 piece first. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to get rid of the um, air pockets and the tissue and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to push it over to the side. We have Brighton, a Pandora box, and um, just a, a, a burlap bag, um, some other stuff. I don't count them. I just pull them out and see what we have. Let's go with the Brighton 10 first. Pretty 10. Just the 10 by itself. Let's see. Oh, okay. We have a watch from Brighton. Boy, that's bright. <laughs> Get it? Bright for Brighton. Uh, this is super pretty. Um, I do not know how much Brighton goes for now. It says Japan Movement Brighton Short Hills. And it needs a battery. But I'm going to look the... I love these. Um, it, it's like almost Pandora style. But I do love that. Okay, this Brighton is such a pretty watch. As I said, it looks really um, new. It still has the 10, excellent condition. Um, it does need a new battery, so I will change the battery. But the great thing is all these charms come off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven on each side. It is a toggle clasp and they do come off. You just push here and this comes out like so. And you can take them all off or change the charms if you want. And there you go. Very simple, easy to change out. So um, the um, crystal looks in perfect condition and it is, um, I found it on eBay for $99. But if anybody's interested, I will do 50 with the 10 and I will change the battery. So sweet. And it is gold and silver tone. Um, toggle clasp and it's about a little larger than seven and a half um, inches and you can um, adjust it with this extension right here probably from a little under seven um, to seven and a half inches 
Now let's see what's in the little um, linen or burlap bag. Uh, this is pretty. Um, comes in a nice little bag. Oh, there's a mark, maybe. Let me see if I can read that. I am not sure what it says. So again, it's a nice little cuff, um, has enamel, like a barrel on each end. It is a size seven. And I will do some research and figure out um, what the mark says. One of the great things about getting these 15 piece is these pieces that we don't know anything about and we learn about them. This is actually called, um, or by a company called Maine Melon. And there's um, marks on the inside on each side that's, I believe it's MM. And these are called Maine Melon Bowie Cuff Bracelet in white. So this is by a the company called Maine Mellon, and it's a designer, and her name is Mary Ellen Rooney, and she grew up in Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine, and these are from the region. The cute thing about her is the very last thing about her um, uh, information is, is that she lives with her husband and her golden retriever, whose name is uh, Bowie, <laughs> so I thought that was cute. Um, but anyway, this is called a Bowie Cuff, and it's um, lobster buoys are iconic not only for Maine, but along the New Zealand coastline. And this cuff is inspired by the brightly painted floats that attach to the lobster traps in order for the lobstermen to quickly locate and identify their traps. Um, it is gold-plated cuff, consists of two buoys and uh, each with a um, uh, off-white uh, enamel um, ring. So that's pretty cool. And these run $85. Um, yikes. So if anybody's interested, I will do $35. And it comes in this little bag. Nice. So that's two new items. So that's good. Let's look at, do we want to do Pandora last? Um, let's do another bag. Oh, looky, looky. Um, how cool is this? It is new. <gasps> Tori Birch. Uh, how cool is this? Um, it's small. It is a size. Does it move at all? Not really. It's small. I'm going to say six, six and a half um, Tory Birch cuff. It is kind of looks like um, a bone design, but I'm more inclined to think it is a um, synthetic material. So again, let me look this up and I'll put the um, price down below. But it's always good to get Tory Birch. Okay, so that's three branded items. So branded for me, I believe these boxes, these um, 15 piece should always be branded items. Um, but that's just me. This is Park Lane. Um, Park Lane, it says, has been in business since 1955. And it's own little bag. Oh, isn't that nice? New with tags. They removed the price. And it's a feather rhinestone. Oh, it's a cubic zirconia. Because you can, if there's holes in the bag, that's either going to tell you that it's diamond and cubic zirconia. And as far as I know, Park Lane does not use diamonds. Um and it is bolo and um, that is nice so it's adjustable and on this i'm gonna say let's do uh sweet let's say fifteen dollars 
And then this one. Oh, there's a main too. Yay. I'm happy with that. So this is, oh, isn't that nice? Sorelli. Um, I, let's, uh, beautiful. Look at that. Um, remember we are getting, here we are, um, the beginning of September. Oh, let me move that. There we go. Um, so it's getting gift time. And, um, as a help, um, I do low way, um, starting in September. So, um, all I ask is that you make weekly payments and that, um, you have it out within, um, 60 to 90 days. Uh, that way, um, you're able to make purchases and the minimum purchase on layaway is $50. So that's my layaway plan. All right, let's get this untangled a little bit. So there we go. Uh, that is so pretty. This is, as I said, Sorelli. It is 16 inches with a four inch extension. Wow, I had no idea about the Sorelli piece. Um, I, I have researched the company before. Um, it was founded 40 years ago by Lisa Oswald. And she, I remember even doing the telling about the story that um, she was invited to the cool parties in New York and she didn't have anything to wear. So in the 80s, so she would make her own jewelry and then her friends started liking it. So she was making um, jewelry for her friends. Um, and Sorel means um, sisters in Italian. I think this, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, of course. And now her daughter, Lily, no, yeah, Lisa's daughter, Lily, is the CEO of the company. So it is a second generation, female founded, female led family brand. And um, the pieces are eye catching, um, everyday pieces that can be really um, worn. They're handcrafted um, in their own studios with the best materials. And this piece is um, a um, special order piece from 2009. It's called the Lollipop Crystal Pendant. And it is um, intricate oval necklace. And um, it is made with um, Swarovski, Sor Swarovski um, crystals. And it's considered antique inspired heirloom. And it has an antique gold um, chain. The chain is so cool. Halfway up, you still have the crystals on it. And it is description. They're saying that sugar coating uh, confectionery crystals, lovely assorted candy colors adorn a setting of antique gold. This collection will surely satisfy any sweet tooth. And it has um, all the crystals and it's called rose, fuchsia, um, light rose, violet, uh, blue, a zycone, topaz. Um, so gorgeous and um, lovely. I love them. And the um, clearness of these are just stunning. And this one is online for $179. It was originally $268. And on this one, I think I already gave the um, measurement. But on this one, if anybody's interested, I will do $100. Stunning. All right. We have more bags in here. So this is J. Crew in their little bag. Um, so we have a gold tone necklace. J. Crew, it's new, never been used. It's in perfect condition. Let's just get it untangled. 
that was difficult to unravel. So again, this is in new condition. Um, I'm trying to, there is tiny little marks, but I think that's for being up against the chain. Um, it is these red thread tassels um, up high. And then the longer one is just this uh, oval uh, placard kind of thing. I guess you could have it engraved. Not that people really engrave things that much anymore. Lobster clasp with an extender. The longest one is 28 inches and the shortest one is 16 inches with a two and a half inch extension. And on this, I'm just going to say, let's do $8 for the J Crew. Then we have this little bag. This is a Banana Republic. And it's little bezel set cubic chaconias um, with little clear faceted rhinestones. Uh, silver tone, um, pretty necklace. It looks new, 32 inches. And I'm just gonna say, let's do, um, $10 for the Banana Republic. We have this little ring. Looks like an opal. Uh, sweet. And that says 10K right there. Uh, let me look closer. Yeah, it says 10K. And then Mel 486. That is such a sweet ring. Let's get a size. It is a size 7. Uh, that is sweet. Let me turn on the Presidium. Not that an opal is going to register. However, this little um, accent stone right here, I do want to um, test that. Let's test the gold first. It's in really good condition on the back too. And the way I do gold is I tested with acids first, and then off screen, I will test it with the gold, tea cast, uh, gold key tester, just to be sure. And it is saying that it is 10, per, uh, 10K, as well as on the inside. It is tiny, so let's see. Let me clean this up before I put my finger in it but it is holding. So yay, it's been a long time since I got gold in a 15 piece. So let's see if we can get that tiny um, stone to test. And it is diamond. So it, I'm gonna go in tight so you can actually see it. What a sweet little ring. It is opal, an oval opal with a um, wraparound band and a small little diamond accent. Let's, there we go. Uh, very nice. Such a sweet piece. Love this. Um, so it's 1.3 grams. So I'm gonna say, let's do $60 for the opal and diamond. Excellent. So, uh, not hating that one. <laughs> Next, we have this pretty statement necklace. This looks like a J. Crew. There it is. Uh, let me go out a little bit. And there it is. Let's see if there's anything missing. No. So, it's blue 
and green, um, blue rounds, um, green um, teardrop rhinestones, and then these little white faceted, um, I'm gonna say they're either acrylic or glass. Gold tone looks in excellent condition again. It is 18 inches with a two and a half inch extension. And on the J Crew, I'm gonna say let's do let's do twelve dollars on that one. Um, we have one more of these, so let's open this. We'll do the Pandora last. So far excellent that everything has been branded so we have one two three four five six seven eight so far that is branded here is our ninth item and it's a kendra scott uh very nice uh look at those this um is davy stud earrings decor glass uh, those are nice. Um, I'm going to do 18 on those. And they are a gold tone, uh, faceted, um, and I'm going to say orange. Um, uh, very nice. Love it. So that's nine um, branded items. And these are branded too. So it's going to be 10 branded items so far. And this says, Bobble Bar. And these are pretty. Again, looks really good condition. Um, so they are um, dyed halite, I'm going to say. With, um, let's see what color those are with pink rhinestones around. And this is like a blush, um, acrylic. Uh, those are nice. I don't see any missing rhinestones. And it is three and a half inches by one and one eighth, almost two inches. So on the bobble bar, I'm gonna say let's do $8. Then we have another ring. This is Michael Kors. So this is our 12th item. It's Michael Kors um, Silver Tone. And that is cool. Doesn't fit me. <laughs> it is a size eight. Uh, that is a pretty, let's put it on my pinky. There you go. It says Michael Kors right there on front. There is slight um, little scratches. I'm going to do some research and I'll put it down here because I'm not sure how much Michael Kors designer triple band would be. So again, I think we're at, this is 12 of branded pieces. So we have a pair of earrings here that are dangled, silver, let's see, pearl. They are not, um, I don't believe they're real uh, pearls. Let's, I don't see a name right off, but let me look with the loop. They are not magnetic. They are cubic zirconia. Let me just test them real quick.
and they're not sterling. So they're silver tone, cubic zirconia, faux pearl. They um beautiful for the coming holidays. They are two and a quarter inch by a half inch. A really pretty um, clear cubic zirconias and faux pearl. Aren't those nice? So on these, I'm gonna say, let's do um, $6. So that's our first pair of unbranded. And here we have a pair of abalone. Um, those are pretty. Let's look at them closer. See if I see a name. I do not see a name on that one. I don't see a name on that one. Let's see if they're sterling. Let me do it again because they kind of have a little bit, so they might be. No, they're sterling. There's the blue on both of them. So we have sterling abalone. Aren't those pretty with that beautiful blue? It is one and three fourths of an inch from the top of the wire and one and three eighths from the bottom of the wire by five eighths of an inch. And I'm going to say 15 on the sterling abalone. I'm gonna put these on the branded side because they are precious metal. So we have one um, un, um, signed piece and 14 either precious metal or signed um, pieces because I'm counting the Pandora in that. So here we're opening the Pandora. Happy there's a box. Ooh, sweet. And it's a bracelet. It's a bangle. And it is signed B1S925ALE Pandora, and then the logo, and then a two. And it's not a bangle, it does open. Um, let's see, you push it this side, I believe. Yeah, and it opens up. Like so. Uh, I'm loving this. I'm a Pandora fan. <laughs> So it's seven and a half inches. It is cubic zirconia. Uh, I love this bracelet. So let me do some research and I will put the price below. Isn't that interesting how much research I've got to do? So we have 14 um, signed pieces and one unsigned piece. Uh, Okay, this has, and, and gold. <laughs> so I'm not sure if our auction bag is going to be better, but let's open the auction bag now. It is sterling. Uh, again, I've had this one a long time. Um, looks like since last year at this time, I bought, purchased this. Let's see what we have. Uh, check it out. <laughs> I think this is a Pandora bracelet. I think so. All right, let's push this over to the side. And let's just see what we have. Okay, first off, let's start with the Pandora. This is a Pandora. 
okay? It opens as normal, just like Pandora, normal, like so. The ALE and um, S925 is on the inside. S925 um, means that it was after 2008. This is called a limited edition fireworks bracelet. And um, I believe the way this is sold is, oh, there it is. The best is yet to come right here, written in. And on this one, I'm going to do, oh, let me give you a size. It is silver tone and it has, um, let me check, I don't, I don't, I believe these are cubic zirconia. Okay, so it is all cubic zirconia in a fireworks um, clasp. Nice. Um, and on this one, I'm going to do $30. Next we have um, this. Oh, this is sweet. This is a Waterford Crystal Heart Sterling Pendant or Ornament. Uh, love that. Um, this part is Sterling and this is Waterford Crystal. And uh, let's see, there is your Waterford mark right there. Let me see if I can get it to come in there. Sweet. Let's move down a little so we can see. It is two and a quarter inch by one and a half by about three eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna do $30. Love it. All right, let's put those there. Love this one. Uh, this is gorgeous. So these are all cubic uh, cubic zirconia baguettes, and then all um, rounds, bezel set rounds on the edges, and then it has two um, the adjustable um, strands. Also have um, round um, cubic zirconia in them. And it is adjustable. It is gorgeous on. Love that. Um, and this one is going to be $45. And it is um, sterling silver also. Gorgeous. I love this. I think I'm going to wear this for the rest of the video. Uh, lovely. Okay, next we have um, this Sterling Book um, Pill Box, Snuff Box. It is Sterling Silver. It's marked 925 right here in the center. This is in excellent condition. Looks just like a little book. Uh, love this. And this we're going to do 60 on. I love it. Let me give you a size on this one. It is one and three fourths of an inch by one and three eighths of an inch by a half inch and 60 on that one. Okay, then we have two Taxco Harmony Balls. Okay, this one has the world and then people around it. It is signed here at the top and it says TR21925. Um, and then 
there's your harmony bell um it is on this gorgeous um chain that is signed let's see what it's signed <laughs> 925 Italy with a lobster clasp, the chain is a 20 inch chain and the harmony bell with the veil is one and a half inches by one inch by one inch. With the chain, I'm doing 75. A beautiful. And then on this one, there's your harmony. It is signed Mexico 925 Taxco T11 dash, no, T, N dash 52. And it is just a solid sterling ball on a box chain. The box chain it says 925 and then Italy it is 20 inch chain it is with the bail one and three eighths of an inch by one inch by one inch and this one is going to be um, $60. Then we have this. I just did a short on this. And this is um, Judith Jack, JJ. Very interesting. Um, Marcosite bar um, that is 3D lace open and it is signed um, JJ here and Sterling spelled out and it is like a Lariat um, chain that you can decide how much of the Y you want it to be and then it opens um, you open it like so and it the clasp stays in the front. So it is 22 inches. The bar is one and a quarter by a quarter. And on this one, I'm going to do $35. Next, we have these sterling silver studs, still on the card. Um, the price has been clipped off. Um, beautiful faceted uh, cubic zirconias, um, and they are, um, as I said, studs, and we're gonna do 15 on those. All these things have been tested. These are gorgeous. These are not signed. However, they look um, Mexican to me. These are clip-on sterling silver um, earrings. Um, they are very patinaed, gorgeous. Of course, if you like it shiny, they will shine right up. These are one and a half inches by one and a half inches. There's the clip and under the, oh, it is signed. Hello, Marilyn. It is Taxco, Mexico, 925. It is signed TC-142. And on these beauties, I'm going to do $40. No, let's do 35 on these. Yeah, 35 on those. Then we have a couple pieces in here. These are sterling silver studs. Um, they are they are eight and a half millimeter, 
And on these, I'm gonna do just $15. We have this chain, which says Elaine, E-L, let me spell it because not all Elaine spell it the same way. E-L-A-I-Y-N-E. -E. Um, there's a little bit of um, enamel right here I can clean off. On the back, it says, to Carol from Elaine, Sterling Echo piece. Isn't that interesting? Um, so on this one, let me give you a size. It is a, older, this is a sister clasp. So it separates and goes back together. This is seven and three fourths of an inch. And I'm going to say, um, this is very nice and old. This is probably from the 40s. So I'm gonna say, let's do 25 on that one. We have this interesting ring. Um, it is signed 925 and it is like so, isn't that interesting? Um, very modern styling. It is an eight and a half. What I think would be really cool with this, see how it is like so? It'd be cool to put like a charm on here. Not saying that that's what they intended. It's just supposed to be a modernistic look. So on this one, I'm gonna say, let's just do $15. Then we have this little ring that's adjustable. Um, it is three bands and two of them have three sterling beads. This is a size three and a quarter, uh, would be a sweet midi ring. And on this, I'm gonna do just $15. We have this little brooch. It is sterling silver on the back. It says spelled out. And on the front, it says 1939. And it says perseverance and then a crown and then it has a lion like crossed weapons then I don't even know but I'll go in tight so you can actually see it isn't that cool how detailed 1939 perseverance and then on the back it says Sterling, I can't read what that says. Let's see if I can see it with the loop. I think it says Birks, B-I-R-K-S. And on that, I'm gonna say, um, I'll put the price below, because I'm not sure what little pins like this go for. But I'm just gonna say $10 for right now. And it is like a little, brooch pen goes right in there um and we know that this is old because it's 1939. and the last piece we have is this little salt or trinket dish it says sterling and cf and it's reprose isn't that sweet it is one and three fourths of an inch by one and three fourths of an inch by a half inch. And on the sides, it's all these flowers. And on that, I'm gonna say, let's do um, $35. I'm gonna say both of these have been super nice um, bags or trays or boxes, however you want to say it. Um, lots of really cool pieces. I am super happy with all the pieces from the um, uh, 15 piece thread up. I'm definitely impressed with how many sign pieces we got out of that. Um, Obviously, the 10 karat gold opal 
and the Tory Burke um, cuff is pretty fabulous. Um, and then all the pieces from the bag, um, not hating either. So let me know what your favorite piece was. Thank you for joining us today. I hope everybody had a wonderful Labor Day. Oh, I forgot this piece also. So let me put that um, back instead of wearing it. <laughs> so everybody have a wonderful night. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe below if you haven't already. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.